Alright everybody, welcome back to the Mopar Project, and uh, today I have good news, I finally got my CD player back! Well, well, I bought a new CD player and it worked. Yay mate. So, um, I can actually play the old games back again, uh, which I lost, like, my CD drive was actually broken down. Uh, apparently the laser of it was uh, a goner, so, yeah, needed to work on that. So today we're going to be working on uh, the uh, height on the top of the on on top of the Malfoc itself. So we're going to be working on that, and hopefully, you know, once that is done, of course, this thing is like you know, once that is done, uh, everything will be fine. So we need to get do that. So I'm going to be putting, I'm going to grab some color here, and I'm going to be drawing the big giant brush here. Boom. I'm gonna add 20. Yeah, like that. Easy. Oh, hey, Blue. Nice to see you. So, yeah, um, I'm done with that, and I'm gonna be working, you know, uh, I have like, you know, now I'm able to play the old games again. Which are quite fun, but also it's very important that, you know, the old games actually gave me the. God damn it! No, hold on, hold on. What is the what is the bleep bloop? What's the bleep bloop? Ah, damn. Oh no. Uh that's that's not good. That's not good. Um, hold on. I will be away. I need to have like. That's gonna be a problem. All right. Um. Uh, let's. And that is not what I wanted. Damn it. And that's not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted. Alright, I need to now grab. Uh, let's see, do we actually need to do that? Mm, yeah, we can do that now, right here. So we can have a mm, single uh, lineup. So we have now the group. Group, yes. Awesome. So this one needs to be on top of this. And then I, if I erase it, it will be like this. Yes. Alright, good. Now we need to have uh, the color that we had before, and then make it a little bit, make it lighter or darker. Which one do we want to go first for? I think we're gonna go for a little bit less dark, like this. Eh, a little more. There you go. All right, we're gonna go for orange, I guess. Orange. Is that too much orange? Yes, that's too much orange. We wanna go for less orange. More dark, more dark. Yes, awesome. All right. So, um, um, how to do this again? Um, I will get the colors up and running and uh, get everything here done. Like you know, I'm I'm want to make. The effects happening, so therefore I need to work with the effects and then give you know this effect like what is this? What is this? Well, this is like you know fur, so I should make it look like fur. So that's also what I'm gonna be doing. Anyway, um, so yeah, I had some good news. The uh, I actually created this. I actually bought a CD driver to uh, get the old CDs back in my PC, so I was be able to get the. Uh, oh hey, space junk. And uh, the uh, old CD player actually causes me to uh, be able to play games like Battle of the Middle Earth. Apparently, that game is actually quite expensive. I did not know. Because of the uh, removal of the game's license, it is unable to reproduce any more of its games, so the CDs are no longer be made. Therefore, the game is now limited, and because it is not digitalized, um, it uh, gains a heavy amount of, you know, uh, expensive costs. So yeah, I. Um, I actually imp I actually uh, was actually quite surprised how much uh, that actually cost like 100 100 euros of money. Ooh.
anyway, um, uh, the the main the main thing with you know uh, Battle of Middle Earth is that it is actually not fully uh, compatible with the uh, screens, so it is until 180p, if I'm correct. It doesn't matter really, but you know it's still a thing that happens. So, um, yeah, the amount of the amount of you know the amount of money you need to now to get that game is like hundred hundred euros or hundred dollars in in total, which like is like insane amount. What the hell? So, um, yeah, it was actually quite expensive, and uh, uh. I bought it back in the day when it was five dollars. So yeah, I bought it like ch dirt cheap. And it was actually a quite good game though. Yeah, I really loved it. It was actually one of my favorite games to play around with. And still was to this day. What did it use before the Euro? Um Shulden. That's the one that they used. It's the Golden. Shulden. It's like, you know, the, Ger the Germans uh, have, like, also such kind of tax system, but yeah, the Golden, the Golden. was actually a quite good coin, though. Quite funny coin. Actually, it is more expensive than the Euros itself. So, uh, since the Golden is, like, uh, like, a mid section, it's not, like, monopoly money. It's better. It's more expensive. You have, like, one whole Golden. Golden, Schoutstuck. There you go. It's a uh, it's a reference to uh, gold pieces. Golden. There you go. See, same same clang, uh, same uh, tone on it. Golden, Schoutstucken. Schout. Yes, gold. See, that's uh, how you do it. So yeah, it's uh, it's a reference to gold pieces. Look how cool this is. This is actually quite a cool effect, even though, you know, it's only one color yet. We have not yet implemented the other color as well. And we also have not yet implemented the, uh, how do you say, the um, effect of it. So yeah, uh, that's actually the one they had. Ah, I see. Schulden, yes. No, no, not, not Dapts, not Schulden, Schulden. There you go. You don't want to have debts, all right. You don't. You don't want to be in debt with someone. Then you have schulden. If you don't want to have schulden, then you have schulden. That's how it works. That's actually quite a cool effect that I actually can create by you know, only highlighting already gives a fact that is actually quite nice, like the moth effect on the hair a uh, hair effect. That's uh, that's a quite cool effect there. I must admit, I did not expect it that. Well, you know, I didn't expect this to work at all, but uh, it works anyway. Anyhow, um, so yeah, I improved it. My, uh, I, I got myself a CD player now, and that works fine. So I can actually read stuff again. Like I can put the old-fashioned uh, encyclopedia on my PC if I want to, or play Dun 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 Freddy Fish. Yes, Freddy Fish, the legendary fish that always solves mysteries. So yeah, it is quite nice to have like different, um, different kind of games that you can play around with. Also, now I hope that uh, Empire Earth actually works well. Well, Paper Money originally was nothing else than debt uh, certificates. Yeah, true. But you know, the real thing is gold, man. Gold is quite nice. Golden coins, copper coins, and all that stuff. But yeah, the um, the amount of stuff I can now pull off, so the amount of stuff I actually can do, it's quite nice. The uh, I can now install one of the games that I actually like to play, like Empire Earth, which is a really old game, really shitty 3D... Uh, Really shitty 3D, uh, 3D effects, 
but holy shit, that game was fun. Uh, you could actually customize your whole, whole civilization to be good at some points of the game. Then you could also improve your uh, things in the game itself. So you could even improve your minions in the game. So you had like uh, you had like an archer, and then you had like in your main tree you had an upgrade to range, but then you can also upgrade it itself with range. And then it would count for every single archer you ever will build after some time. So yeah, the the whole damn uh, game was actually quite cool. And don't forget Jurassic Park Operation Genetist. That is also a very good building game with a lot of cool things with it. And Suit Tycoon and Rollercoast Tycoon 2 and uh, all that lovely stuff. So yeah. So currently called Holland's, Holland's Children would make sense as a name. Yeah. Yep. 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 You're in depth with Holland. You're you're not in depth with anything else. You're in depth with 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 a country that is really with money, really good with money. They hold at a lot of they hold at a lot of stuff. And the funny thing is, actually, a lot of uh a lot of countries are in depth with uh, Holland, and Holland always finds a way to get you get you paid. And uh, you know that's that's the whole story about Holland most of the times. It's a very good, a very good and gentle place. No need to worry about things, and then you know suddenly be like, "Oh no, we're getting invaded by French people." I guess we're hiring mercenaries to deal with this, and then everybody's like, "What? You don't have a standing army?" No. What are you? What do you think we are? Do you really think that we are like you know like normal people? <laughs> we don't have a standing army. We might have, but we don't have a big standing army. We let other people fight for us. That's that's how to do stuff, right? That's how you do how you do business. How the business works. The bees. So yeah. It's a quite a cool place. Lots of people, you know, everything everything works by the people, for the people, with the people. That's how uh, Holland works. It's all created by the people made by the people used by the people and also we have a king but the king does the king only does you know the talky talk he doesn't have any real power he has only the real power of talk which makes us even better because you know the i believe the king has has some power over you know the government but most of the government is like, oh, well, it's just a king. We're just going to be saying to the king, yes, we're going to do this. And then, you know, they're going to do it. I believe the king of Holland is, uh, you know, he's a very smart man. I don't, don't get me wrong. He's a really good man as well. Good at economics and all that stuff. So, yeah, that man will make sure that you uh, you don't get, uh, you, you don't go bankrupt when, uh, you know, things go bad. So, yeah, this guy is good good at his things. So yeah, um also uh I'm gonna be having a little uh well you know. So today I'm gonna be working on this and uh hopefully you know this is gonna be working fine. I guess you know this is how things should work. Also you can see the difference between the uh early versions of this and then the later versions of this thing being drawn that makes it actually quite cool. I really like this approach. I really like this kind of here yeah, effect that I drew. It's a shame that I did not be able to reproduce it too much. Hmm. Next time I will make it better. Oh well, you know, next time next time is always better than this time. But yeah, not the Netherlands is a different thing. The king doesn't do anything, even if he could. It's like the UK. The queen could kill the government if if she wanted, but she just doesn't do it. Do do not to do so. Yeah, it's it's an idiot. It's an idiot. It's an idiot move. It's a really idiot move if you do it. 
It's like, well, the government works really well. Don't get me wrong. The government is actually quite good. You have like a first parliament, a second parliament. And, uh, well, you know, the parliament decides what's going to happen with the country. And if the king doesn't like it, then, well, the, the government is fired. Literally. And then they need to redo it. And they need to redo it again. And again. And again. And again. Until they finally fix it. So, yeah. I must say I'm actually doing pretty well now. Even though, you know, this is only, you know, the beginning of the part. So, the more we do... Or, well, the more we work on this project, the, be the more stuff we're going to get fixed. And, uh, well, in an hour, of course, I cannot fix everything. But, 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 the more I do, the better I get it. Yes. Also, looks like I uh, might have a new, uh, a new thing. Um, how do you say? A new... Appointment? No. A new thing I need to draw. So a new... Uh, how do you say that? If somebody orders you... An order. Yes, an order. Somebody made an order. Yes, an order. That That's the word. I think that's the word. I don't know if it's the word. Where, well, you know, you get paid for it, so... Eh. Probably. I just need to, to talk to White with it again. I had like a little conversation, but I need to have like clearance, fully clearance, how and who and what. So yeah, gonna be uh, doing a drawing for White. He asked me, so I'm asking like I'm hoping that you know everything is all right. He just sent me a message like, oh shit, so probably something is going bad. Don't know what though. I'm gonna be surprised. I'm gonna be surprised anyway. So. Lovely how much stuff this can actually cause. Alright, so we need to actually lower it even down. And, uh. So, yeah, today I actually was, uh, working on my drawing again, and, uh, I actually got pretty far on it myself. That's actually quite nice, and, uh, I'm very happy what, what I'm already achieved. Like, boom! Now the whole throat is gone, now the whole throat is done, and now you can just focus on the neck. Apparently, the neck's actually also very difficult to do. But of course, nobody's going to tell you, because, you know, that's that's not how it works. Also, you can see, like, I made mistakes in this drawing so many. It's almost unbelievable. The mistakes I actually made are... Well, they might not be looking like high stakes, but they are definitely high stakes. The main problem with the the main problem I made with the uh with this drawing is like you know the layer the layers how I made them up. So yeah. Um next time and it is like the time that you know the morning drawings they are way better the way better made. Like I already know like oh this layer needs to be on top of that, this layer needs to be on top of that, and you know this thing here is like a quick reminder of why it is so important to have that, like, approach. So yeah, uh, let's see. Quite stupid how much, you know, the feathers and all that stuff like Oh no, it's all all there. So yeah, it, it does look like, you know, I made some mistakes here and there. Which of course are invertible by, you know, finding out the layer, put the layer in front of the put the layer above the of the rest and then you know it should be fine, but still holy damn. It's annoying. It's so annoying. But the good news is, though, I must say, I'm very impressed how the uh, how the fur is holding up, and uh, I'm very happy upon the result already how it looks. And then you know, once we're done with everything here, then we can actually make 
some more progress on this. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna now add some new layer. We're gonna add the last color to it, which is the darker color, which is yes, I believe. All right. And I'm not using the right brush. I need to use the thick brush. There you go. So if we now add this color, would that work? Yes, that would work. But we don't want this color there. Actually, want it to be a little more darker. Yes, there you go. A little more darker, and we want to only have it on the places that we want. Look at that! How cool that is. That's actually a quite cool effect. I must say myself, that's a really cool effect here. Nice. So I'm sure, is it true the point would people allow a monarch to retake power? Eh, I don't know. I actually don't know that. Uh, let's see. I have no idea if a, if a if a if you know a government would allow the king to regain power, even though you know. Technically, you know, it's not allowed, or well, it's allowed, but not too much. I wonder if, you know, if I'm just doing this, would that work? Would that work? Is that is that good enough to get, you know, a decent amount of stuff? Is that worth it? Is this worth it to do? Or is it not worth it to do? No. No. Uh, let's see. If we have... Oh. If we have this color right here, and we have this color palette, and we want, we actually want like you know the drawing parts to be there. So we want to have like here, 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 and here, for instance. And then we add that. Does that work? Does that create the effect I want? It's a question. Yes, it does. All right, cool. Now I need to only make sure that I have it correctly done. But why is it then not in this one? Ugh. I hate it when it's not in the thing that I want. Alright. Yeah, I think, you know, the biggest question with a monarch is like, you know... You have already seen work without it, so why would you go back? That's the quick question, like, why would you go back if it already works without it? I know it's only there because of, you know, all the all the lovely, you know, press and all that stuff. Because people like, you know, seeing que kings and queens. Which, of course, li gives a lot of money, and a lot of the money they make also goes back to charity. That's the quick question. But, yeah. Look at that. I really like how much stuff already can be done by just, you know, adding color towards something. I never would have imagined that this would have been happening, you know. I would have never imagined that this, you know, just drawing some colors into a bloody damn, into a bloody damn, uh, painting or drawing would cause this to happen if i would have known that this would have been a f that this the, this is the effect that in the end result would have been i would have been less worried about the whole damn thing at all because this is fucking amazing and the more i learn the better i get at it of course already 24 minutes in damn why is it always so much? Why is it always so quick being like, oh, did you remember that this is now already there? And it's like, dang it. Oh, 
Holy shit. But yeah, I believe, you know, I believe that uh, I learned already a lot by just, you know, doing this. By regular doing, by regularly doing, you know, the drawings, or by regular doing the drawings already, you know, I'm I'm getting really good at it. And of course, you know, I'm gonna I need to do some, you know, drawings later on. But not today. Today's like a really busy day, so I'm like, eh. But yeah, this this looks oh, this looks amazing. I wish I uh, I would have known better than I wish I would have known earlier that if I would have done this this would have caused so less 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 stress also I really like how you know the uh, shading in the in the texture already creates this effect that you know when you add two colors to it it's boom instantly there it's instantly visible which is quite amazing I must say myself, it's quite amazing. I did not expect this. I was under the in, I was under the impression that this would not have worked. It worked somehow. I have no idea why, and uh, I'm happy that it works. So yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Sh look at that shenanigans. I love it. Also, creating the little bit darker effect on it, it actually makes things more interesting to look at, which is actually quite important. I think even Hacks will uh, see that this is actually quite lovely to uh, to look at. He will probably be like, like, what the hell did I just came into? I must say though, it's quite hard to do this, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's lovely. Also, this effect actually creates a lot more a uh, lot more patterns to it, which creates this lovely effect. So if we look downwards, we can see like, oh yeah, baby, that's awesome. That's a fucking amazing effect. I like it. Now I can see this. That's. The, the 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 more away you look at it, it better the better it becomes. Oh man, mm, I'm a genius. Yeah, just a fucking genius. I love it. This would have called for a grand celebration on my end. So let's save it before you know I'm totally ruining it. Uh, let's save, 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 save. There you go. Come on. Now I also need to get this one here up and running, and then I can draw a little bubble there. Nice. So, yeah. The main in the main interesting thing is like I need to get the um, get the layers correct. So I need to get this over. The, this needs to be under this, and this needs to be. Above this, uh, nay, under th under this, and then this needs to be above this, and then under that. So yeah, I need to get the positioning of uh, uh, textures correctly done. Oh well, you know, it happens. 
I should actually have merged the color, I believe, but eh. So yeah, uh, let's see. Like that, and then... Why is this not working like that as intended? Because this one has different kind of li uh, different kind of looks to it. Yeah, probably. I can still try it though. But yeah, today I'm gonna go to a birthday party, so that's gonna be great. Probably gonna be watching a lot of movies. A lot of terrible movies, though. Well, they're gonna be good movies. They're just not my movie types. Most likely. I'll play video games that don't... Eh, I'm meh. Anyway, let's take a look at it. Ah, that's decent. That's doable. Alright, cool. So, if we now take a look at this. We have now successfully created a pattern uh, that is different here. So we need to move this downwards. We have this one, the, the spikes. It needs to be underneath this. So where does it need to be? Well, it needs to be underneath this. It needs to be underneath the. It needs to be underneath the paint, and it needs to be underneath that. Right. Does it need to be underneath that? No, it doesn't need to. So if we have this, this should be... So this is only color then, right? No, it is not. Alright, so now it's be this even needs to be underneath. Alright. Close it. Underneath. 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 So which is this? This is the Ah uh, that part. Underneath No above it no, underneath that. Underneath that underneath 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 So, where do we need to get this thing? We need to get this thing underneath everything but underneath claw 1, claw 2, claw 3, claw 4, claw 5, underneath the leg. This is wing 2, right? Come on, give me, give me, give me a fact. Yes. It needs to be underneath the wing 2. Underneath wing two, it needs to be so wing two, boom. There you go. Now it's underneath wing two. Does it also need to be underneath wing one? No. All right, we positioned it correctly. As you can see, we, uh, no, no opening, saving, saving. So we need to add this part up, and now. Everything will f work fine, I assume, right? Yeah, probably. Uh, and oh, oh, so humble. Yeah, 
humble, humble, humble. What does that mean? So humble. I know that it means something, I just don't know what it means. Hum? No, not hum. Humble. Uh, modest. Although successful. Huh. Self affectionate and present boost in, uh, themselves, but instead, the action speaks, uh, speaks for their ideals. To be humble is not to think less of oneself, but to think of oneself less. What? What? All right. Well, I think that's a good compliment, though. I think it's a good compliment. Yeah, it looks it looks gorgeous. Let's put it that way. It looks so nice. Oh man. So yeah, um, that's the thing. Uh, now we can actually fix the parts that we have left behind because now we can actually go over here and say like, well, you know. We actually want we actually want the color to be there again, so we can pick up the color and say, well, you know, we want we want da na 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 da da da. We actually want this to be here. We can now draw over it without causing the you know whole damn thing to collapse to oblivion. Also, it looks like I forgot to uh, do some drawing here, so I also need to do that. So let's let's do that as well. So I'm just gonna be casually, you know, redoing some stuff here, and then you know realize like, oh well, this this part over here is actually considered not there. This one as well. All right, cool. Uh, let's see. We have. Oh yes, I need to put that downwards. So, where is it? Where is it? Tail part? No. 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 Where is the tail end? No. Come on. Yes. No. Actually, this needs to be un underneath that, so... Uh... No... Tilt part... Yes... Alright... Till... You need to go down... Because you actually need to be underneath this... So you need to be underneath this, but some parts don't... So you're gonna go down... You're gonna go down again... You're gonna do go down again. You're gonna go down again. You're gonna go down again. You're gonna go down again. And again. And again. And again. Alright, when when are we reaching the part here? So you all you guys need to be underneath the lag. Why? Because I need to have this there. Alright. Now I need to be realizing it. Alright, so this needs to be underneath the wing, but some parts need to be underneath the hair. So, I'm gonna open this, and I'm gonna look for it. This one? This one, no. Alright, where is Harry McJack? Harry Magic, no, that is not the one. No. Yes. This group needs to be underneath Mr. Nobody. This group actually needs to be underneath it. So it didn't need to remove this group out of the original group and put it beneath the group. There you go. Like that. Hey, alright. Now we have done that. Now we also need to make sure that the other part, so the other part we had, um, this one? No. Yes, this one, right.
Yes. This part needs to be also underneath there. So this one. Also need to be underneath the group. So this needs to be also underneath the group. Then now we also need to have this part over here be underneath the group. So gotta look for it. No group. Yes, group. Alright. So, oh wait. Yes, group. Group get underneath it. So these groups need to be underneath that. So these groups need to be underneath this. And then this also needs to be underneath that. So wait, hold on. Uh, this is confusing. Um, I need to have this be underneath that. Does it need to then also be underneath this? No. No. Yes. So which one is this? This is this is the other part. No, we need. Where is it? This. No. So we have this, which needs to be underneath this guy, underneath this guy as well. Alright, cool. We're gonna put this into a different group so that we can, you know, get access to it quickly. So we're gonna put this into a group. So don't so we don't get lost here. But at least Yes, now and Alright, I can do this. I can do this. This is a little puzzle that I designed. I cannot fill my own design puzzles. That would be stupid. No. 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 Where is it? Harry? No. Oh. It's on a different layer. Alright, cool. So if we cancel this out, we have this. 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 So if we cancel these three out, nothing happens. Wait a minute. Then I need to move this one down then. Yes. Alright. Oh! All right, I made I made an oopsie here. All right, cool, my bad. And this one needs to be downwards. Aha! Mm. Yes. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. That that's how you do it. I want. <laughs> You're calling yourself a genius, but it looks very nice. Though. Yeah. Ah. I don't get jokes. I am immune to them. I never understand them correctly. It's either that I'm taking them too literally, or it's like, you know, what? <laughs> That's the fun part of me. Anyway, look at this. Boom, baby. Everything is almost fixed. Alright, cool. So now, we actually did it. We actually compete. We actually gained the whole damn thing into one. We made it into a nice pattern of fur. We updated that so I think then at Monday we will be finally be able to get uh, we will perfect it and uh, make it sure that everything uh, looks nice and um, then we're gonna be finally be able to do the uh, other part so the downwards part so the the undertale so the 
the base of the Undertale, so we're gonna go for uh, this kind of thing. Uh, where's my mouse? There it is. This thing, yeah, yeah, this thing. We're gonna work on this. But first we're gonna fix up these gaps, these little gibbity gibbity goobity gaps. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix uh, some, uh, you know, drawing issues that we made. And uh, let's hope that it's gonna be looking good. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's coming together. It's uh, looking really nice already, and uh, the more I work on it, the better it gets. I'm very happy upon that. So I think I will call it here a day, because uh, I am going to be very busy very soon. Um, so I hope you all have been enjoying this, and uh, I thank you all for watching. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. And, uh, bye!